How's it going everyone? Diogo Tadini here and today, straight from Japan, boom! Yes, I'm in Japan, more precisely Nagoya, which is about 350 kilometers from Tokyo. It's like on the division of the north and south of Japan, so it's slightly south side of Japan. And this is the second time that I actually do this trip. The first time I went to Tokyo, but just landed in Tokyo and then I came straight to Nagoya, took this train that they have here called Shinkansen, which is essentially a bullet train and is incredibly fast. So Tokyo is here or here, your pick your favorite side. So Tokyo is here, Nagoya is here, 350 kilometers in between, and it takes an hour and 40 minutes. It's insane, it's so fast. My friend said that the same journey by bus would take me about six to seven hours. So I decided to spend a little bit more money and get to Nagoya quicker, so for me, I had to spend a little bit more, but kind of have an extra five hours with my friend who I hadn't seen for almost three years. So yeah, we definitely need more trains like this around the planet, really. Do you agree? I spent a week in Tokyo filming some pretty exciting fashion stuff. The most influential Japanese designers, super old school people, as well as upcoming people, but it was incredible it was an, an amazing job now i'm here in nagoya just spending some time with my friend who i grew up with sort of we've we've known each other for probably about uh, 17 years now we used to rollerblade together back home in brazil and because he came here when he was i think 18 19 roughly i went to england after we don't see each other very often um, I was here three years ago, as I said, two and a half years ago, and we're planning on going to a skate park on Friday, as well as visit a different city. I will try to make another video before I leave back to England. So fingers crossed, we're gonna have time, film a little bit, and I can show you guys as well how my trip to Japan is coming along. Right, enough said about me. Now let's talk about something that not many people care, and I still don't understand why people don't care about this subject, and I can't emphasize enough, stress enough, highlight enough, you use whatever word you want to use, but I'd love if filmmakers paid more attention to our little friend audio, and more specifically for this episode, soundtracks or licensing music. Nowadays, there are a bunch of different ways to find music online. You can perhaps find a music composer and ask for a collaboration. YouTube itself, they, they have a library which is completely free, so you can also get some music from there, as well as dozens of different websites specifically for music licensing. So if you're looking for a single license, for business, for corporate, for any, any kind of stuff that you want, there are a bunch of sites out there that you can find, or you can also find websites that you can pay Early, which that's what I've gone for. I did have some experience in the past with some websites. However, I can't really specifically talk about their service nowadays because perhaps I used only once or twice their service. So I think it's unfair to even mention their names because I don't really know how their service is right now. I have been using the same service for probably about a year and a half, which is the artlist.io. I'm not sure if you heard of it, but it's really good, it's amazing. Oh, and by the way, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I just contacted Artlist to mention that I was making a video and they were cool with that because obviously I'm mentioning their names and I'd like to make sure that they are cool with me mentioning the name of their company. So they said it's cool and I'm making this video straight from Japan about something that I think is really important. As I have several projects throughout the year and some of the costs of licensing tracks, or not only one track, maybe several tracks, for one project will come out of my pocket, I decided to go for a different option, an option that wouldn't really hurt my pocket after every single project that I was part of. But when you think about cost, generally speaking, when you lower the cost, you also automatically lower your quality. But here's the trick, with them, that didn't happen. So I was looking not only for good quality tracks and variety of artists and different genres and everything, but I was also looking for good customer support. That's really important. Whenever you have an issue, you can contact them and you can rely on them. And I'm pretty sure other services would provide similar service. But as I said, I have experience with Artlist and their customer service is top notch. Also, their website is pretty good. They have good features on the website, pretty user friendly, and I couldn't recommend more. Even during the beta version, and I say beta because they called beta version for the first year, as far as I can remember. The website was already running pretty smoothly with different artists and genres and everything that you would expect from a music licensing website. Last week, I just renewed my subscription with them, which is great. I'm happy that they kept the price. 
but they still improving the website. They still adding more artists, which is amazing. I mean, they're not increasing the cost, but they're increasing the quality. This is like po, 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 thumbs up. And not only know if you are constantly on their website, you can notice that they are improving. Even like little pop-ups that they have to ask you some questions, if the service is good or stuff like that. It, that, that shows that they are constantly asking for feedback. And if you have a complaint, if you're not happy with the service, you can perhaps file that, not complaint, but that suggestion. And I'm sure they will hear because they're not the five billion people company that won't hear what their customers have to say. I know that they will because I, I've already sent message to them and you know, they, they're brilliant. They, they're not like this stuck up company that they are successful and they're not gonna hear anybody. They do, which is pretty unusual in my experience. And you know, I mean, especially for that price point, it's pretty good. Right, so now I just wanna show you a little bit of the website. If you don't know their interface or if, you, if you're not familiar with their interface, I'm gonna show you basically how it works. So their webpage is www.artlist.io. That's their website. So once you go on their website, you land on their homepage, which is pretty intuitive. Here on the left-hand side, you have like some sort of menu. You have mood, video theme, instrument, genre, and spotlight. Right in the middle of the screen, you have some examples of, um, of options they make available, for instance, strings, hip hop, time lapse, indie, electronic, you name it, they have, they have it all. Along this year that I've been with them, they've made some major changes. They, they changed their search engine, they changed their algorithms. Algorithms, 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 Algorithm, it's a bit of algorithm. Hang on a second. Apple always helped me with that. Let's see. Apple, what have you done? Oh my God, what has Apple done? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure other foreigners out there who also have channels, they probably use this option. I'm not sure. I've been using this option for ages and I'll show you how foreign people can, oh, actually, maybe English, Canadians, Americans, Australians, they can also use that whenever they don't know how to say a word. Look at that. You write your word, or even you go online and just go to a dictionary and find a word. Um, but if you don't have internet, for instance, you just write the word that you want, if you know how to write the word, obviously. You right click, there is speech. That's only for Mac, by the way. I don't know if Windows, if they have an option like this, but anyway. And then you go start speaking. Algorithms. Algorithms. That's it, algorithms. I've been looking for algorithms and, and I couldn't find this word. I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce that word. And, uh, that's it, sometimes it's pretty difficult. If you are a non-English native, I know that everyone laughs when we say native, but yeah, anyway, let's carry on with our video. So they improved the search engine, algorithms, they've moved things around during their beta version, so it would be easier for us to find the tracks that we wanna find. But one thing that they've introduced not long ago, which to me is major, is the combination you have when searching for a very specific track. For example, you may want a powerful track, but not only powerful, you may want a specific instrument, let's say strings. I know strings aren't a specific instrument, but you get the idea, right? You basically combine your choices and you can see your choices up here. It will basically combine your choices and their search engine will then give you what matches your search. You can also play the tracks. You have the name of the track, name of the artist and album, whole duration of the track. You can quickly skip to any point of the track that you wish to do so. And at the very end of every track, you have four icons. Trolley that you can add that track to your trolley and then do the checkout. You have the folder where you can create different folders and organize all the tracks and collections in there. This is very, very useful. Mine is a mess at the moment, but I recommend you to keep them organized at all times, not like mine. You've got the star, which is essentially your favorites, and you've got the share. The share button is great as you can share tracks via Facebook and Twitter, but not only that, you can copy the link directly for that specific track, send to your director, producer, client, whoever wants to review that track, approve, and B-O-O-M, boom. Right, okay, that wasn't necessary, but you get the point, right? You send it to someone for approval, they send it back, and then you can download and add that track to your project. Talking about downloading, Artlist made it really easy for us filmmakers. As far as I'm concerned, there are two different ways to download tracks 
from Artlist. First, you select the tracks that you would like to download by clicking on the trolley icon, as I mentioned earlier. You then go to the checkout page in the top right hand corner. And once you click on the checkout button, Artlist will automatically send you an email with a link to download all the tracks that you selected. So this is the first way. And the second way is by going to your music, then under my download history, you find all the tracks that you have completed the checkout. Bear in mind, normally, the email from them comes before I have even have the time to go to my download history. It is that fast. In this page, you can also find your folders, or as they call it, my collections. Also, your favorite songs, the ones you favorite by clicking on the star icon, your favorite albums, if you have any, as well as your account information with all your personal information, number of your license, and so on and so forth. One thing that I forgot to mention and is really important as well is up here, they have this bar with the search box in case you know the name of the artist or the track, just like any other search box. I'm sure you've used one before. Next box, you have the option to sort your search by stuff picks, top downloads or newest. Next one is tempo. So you've got low, medium or high. And the third and last box is duration, which in this case starts from as short as 18 seconds and it goes as long as 15 minutes, which is pretty amazing and long. I've been using Artlist for just over a year now. Um, as I said, this is not a paid ad. It's not, you know, they haven't paid anything for me to say anything that I'm saying, but I love their service. I mean, they help filmmakers to create value in their films and they also help musicians to kind of do the same as filmmakers, but by selling their music, which is amazing. I mean, they help in two industries, two creative industries that somehow struggle to kind of make any money out of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're a filmmaker and you're watching this, you probably had tons of friends and, you know, acquaintance asking, could you do that project for free? And I'm pretty sure at one point in your life, in your career, you thought about not paying a track. I mean, I'm not saying that you wouldn't pay for the track, but you know, just always oh, a small project. Perhaps I can use this, trip, this track for free. And they're musicians, they just, they work in as hard as us. So they deserve to be paid. And Artlist is also helping them as well as helping us to do great. That's why I love them. And talking about affordability, I almost forgot about one of the best features, it's price. So you get unlimited downloads during your subscription there might still be a cap, like a daily cap, which is, I think, we used to be 40 tracks a day, but I mean, if you are a serious filmmaker, you know, and I know, and all the serious filmmakers know, you don't need 40 tracks a day. I mean, they are pretty generous of letting you download 40 tracks a day anyway, but yeah, the ca daily cap is between 20 to 40. I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember, because I don't normally download this many tracks, and all of this for 199 US dollars. Can you believe that? It's incredible that you can use the whole arsenal of soundtracks for only 199 dollars a year. That's pretty good. So not only for the money, but also, as I mentioned earlier, for their customer service, for their website user friendliness, and their great attitude for starting a company like this and believing in filmmakers as well as musicians. So I'm happy to help and support a service like Artlist as they support me as a filmmaker. And that will be it for me today, guys. I hope I helped someone out there who was desperately looking for soundtracks and music licensing, because I know in the beginning when I started, I was pretty desperate to find a place that was affordable and you would give me good tracks as well. And I found them, so I hope I helped you find them as well. Leave in the comments below what service you use, if Artlist, do you have anything to tell them to improve their service? What's the best thing that you find with Artlist? If I did help you, please click on the like button here down below. If you have anything to say or anything to ask, please leave in the comments below. For more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell so then you are notified whenever I post any videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode.